Here we see a cutaway version of a horizontal three-phase separator. The fluid initially enters the separator through this inlet and immediately strikes an inlet diverter. This particular inlet diverter is made of some pieces of angle iron which abruptly change the direction of flow of the fluid that's entering the separator. This does the initial gross separation of liquid from gas. This liquid settling portion of the separator here needs to be sized to allow enough time for the oil to begin to form a pad on top of the water layer at the bottom of the separator. The gas, of course, comes to the, to the top of the separator. In this particular vessel, we also have some, some grating here, which acts as straightening vanes to smooth out the flow of gas and liquid through the separator. Next, we find a wave breaker that prevents any surges of liquid from forming waves that flow horizontally through the separator that might re-entrain gas into the liquid phase at the bottom. In this particular separator, we next see a wire mesh mist extractor. The wire mesh mist extractor coalesces any tiny droplets of liquid that may still be entrained in the gas that's flowing horizontally at the top of the separator. And coalescing these liquid droplets allows them to fall down to the bottom and re-enter the liquid phase at the bottom of the separator. Here we have another wave breaker. And finally, we get to the end of the separator that's responsible for the separate dumping of the oil and water phases after they've been separated. We see here this weir, which allows the oil on the top of the water to spill over into this bucket here, which is monitored by a float or a level displacer inside this bucket, which operates this controller, which operates this liquid dump valve down here for the oil phase. Just behind the oil bucket, we see another float, which senses the interface between the oil and water within the separator. This float operates another pressure control dump valve down here, which dumps the water from the bottom of the vessel when the interface gets to the certain height that needs to be. On top of our separator, we also see our gas outlet, where the gas is taken off. And just behind that, another gas outlet with a safety valve to the flare line in case the pressure in the separator gets too high. 